Dr. Hofer's um, teaching styles compared to my undergrad experience um, is very different. Um, we only get to see Dr. Hofer a few times this semester where in undergrad you would see professors two, three times a week. So I think his teaching style is very memorable. It's information that sticks with me and it helps when I'm not meeting with him every week because the lessons that I learn on these Saturday classes um, help further my learnings during the week when I'm watching online classes or doing homework or other assignments. Have you seen this before? This is the one time where I don't want you to tell me the solutions come from three six. We're really privileged in the Department of Supply Chain Management here at the Walton College to be where we are. Just think about it. we have some of the very best companies in the country, in fact in the world, right in our front yard. We have Walmart, JB Hunt, Tyson, ABF Logistics, to name just a few. I should be able to take it into the classroom and tell the students something actually useful, something that they can take and implement in their internships or upon graduation, of course. All I'm doing here, and that's why this is so different from the RQ model, all I'm doing here is I'm training off the cost of overstocking and the cost of understocking. Dr. Hofer is very interactive. Uh, he always, it's obvious that he comes uh, well prepared. Um, he, in my mind, makes the best use of the blended format um, because there'll be content that you're working on during the week uh, that seems to come together at the face-to-face -to -face, or there's an application you can take from the face-to-face -face that makes a lot of sense when you're at home doing that work. So from a blended format standpoint, I think he does an excellent job integrating it. Dr. Hofer really makes sure that as he's teaching this, he's using examples, um, he's asking students how this type of material would be able to impact their work, whether they're in supply chain or not. So he will talk to people that are buyers or in finance and um, just really wants to make sure that he gets the point across that, hey, this is supply chain. We might be talking, talking about order points, but how does order points and just inventory affect the bottom line, which in effect actually affects buyers, finance, the entire business.